This video is just going to go over practice naming the notes on the bottom of page eight. Pretty easy. If you are having trouble naming the notes or don't know how to name the notes, go back to one of the videos that does go over that. So I'm gonna go really fast. We've got our treble clef. Always make sure you're looking for which clef it is because that determines what the names of the notes are. It's different in the bass and the treble. So if it's a space, spell face. Again, that's only for the treble clef. So here we go. Only for the treble clef. If it's a space, spell face. F-A-C-E-F-A. -E that's an A. If it's a line, do the rhyme. Elephants get big, dirty feet. Elephants. Elephants get, if it's a line, do the rhyme. Elephants get big, dirty feet. That's a B. It's a space. F-A-C-E. Elephant. Oops. Elephants get big, dirty. F. A C F F A C. Now, this one, the treble clef circles the G, and this one hangs off, so we have to go with an E right here, elephants, and we have to go lower, so we have to go backwards in the alph alphabet. This is E, go backwards, that's D. Those are all whole notes that we use, but we can use any type of note on the staff and we always go for the note head. Where is the note head? That's gonna tell us the name, the letter name of the note. So this is a quarter note. We'll talk more about that in another time. That's an F, because this is a dotted half note, three beats. That is a D, this is a half note, that's an A. This is a single eighth note all by itself, half a beat, that's E. I'll talk more about that on another to tell you how to figure that out. This is a first part of an eighth note by itself, that's a B, that's the second half of the combined eighth note, that's an E. A whole note on the C, a dotted half note on the G, and our, look, they gave us some things to help us out, and that's a D. So these last few, doesn't matter what the note is, it's still the same name. That was real quick. I'll do more on page eight, which will be a longer video talking about counting.